the dog at the center of a bloody attack, now in the custody of animal control. So what's going to happen to the dog that was caught on camera going after attacking a woman and her small pet? For those details, we go right over to Local 10's Terrell Fournay. He's in Fort Lauderdale with more on this one. Terrell? And right now that dog is being quarantined here at this shelter, Broward County Animal Care, and it will be here for at least the next 10 days or so as an investigation is underway between code enforcement and also county workers who are also responsible for animal control. And at the end of this investigation, anything is possible. This female American Staffordshire Terrier will be isolated for at least the next week and a half during what's called a dangerous dog investigation. That dog named Katia forced animal services to respond to the Wilton Matters home nine times since September. Two prior attacks involving the same dog landed heavy fines against the dog's owner. One $1,650 fine was settled just earlier this month. We've learned the county had just revised its animal ordinance to include aggressive dogs as those that have killed or severely injured a domestic animal while unprovoked and off the owner's property. That clearly happened Sunday in this video when Maria Zapata and her small dog were mauled after Katia bolted from a backyard. The attack left Maria with a nasty bite wound in her hand and significant injuries on her small pet. Enough for Maria and her husband today to consider pressing charges. Maybe something done to the owners. The, the dog is a product of whatever's, you know, they failed to do so. It's unfortunately, that you know, that any owner is just going to turn around and get another dog and neglect it again. And whether that couple files a formal complaint could help steer Katia's fate. The county's ordinance says any animal impounded by animal control could be returned to its owner or be put up for adoption. It can be released to an approved animal rescue organization or be humanely euthanized. Given the history, the director or designated supervisor at Animal Services would eventually make the final call. But some neighbors in that Wilton Manors community have already made up their mind. I think they should kill it. I think the dog is a threat to human beings and other dogs. And we should stress that every situation is unique when it comes to the impoundment of these animals. In the case of Katia, we know that her fate is up in the air. Uh, Animal Control today tells us that it, it's just too early to know for sure what will happen to this dog. We also know that the Wilton Manors Police Department, they are also involved in this investigation and they are there to ensure that a safe resolution uh, is met at the end of this investigation, one that is safe the entire community. We'll keep you updated. For now, that's the latest live from Fort Lauderdale. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.